checking to see if this is gonna work. It is raining out and that's okay because I love the rain. It waters the earth, it refreshes the soul. So, um, good morning to Monday morning, a new day. Time to rise up and hope, day three. This is a challenge for me. I hope it's a challenge for you and I, I hope you'll come with me on this journey. I don't know where it goes, I don't know where it's gonna end, but today is day three. And we are going to go to Isaiah chapter 40 for a hope scripture. And we're going to pick up at verse 28. And again, anytime we give a verse that's a little down uh, in scripture, I encourage you to read when you have time the entire chapter. But we're going to pick up at verse 28. And I'm going to speak as loud as I can because I've got an incredible creek to my right that is boisterous this morning. So here we go. First, I want to open up in prayer. God, I thank you for this day. I thank you that it is a brand new day and you're in it. It is your day, so you will lead, guide, instruct. I thank you for this word this morning and I thank you for the listeners, God, and to you be all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so Isaiah 40, chapter 28 do you not know have you not heard the lord is the everlasting god the creator of the heavens of the earth he will not grow tired or weary and his understanding no one can fathom he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak even youths go tired and weary and young men stumble and fall but those who hope in the Lord, let's say that again, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary and they will walk and not faint. There are so many promises in those, chap those verses of scripture and it's addressing many people. It says youths grow tired and weary, even though they do. So youth, I'm talking to you this morning. Get up out of bed and be hopeful for your day. You can do whatever you have to do today in the name of Jesus. And I thank God in advance for those that are still in school wrapping things up. I pray that you have joy today. You don't even know where it came from, but at the end of the day, you're gonna say, wow, God gave me some joy to get through what I don't like. And whatever it is you don't like, God can give you the strength and the grace to overcome. So I'm praying for you, youth, today. Young men will stumble and fall. God, I thank you today for the men. I thank you that they need your wisdom, that they need your guidance, that they need your hope, that they need to believe that you really do go before them and you will work out whatever they have coming their way today. I thank you for the men. And, and men is men and women all encompassing and it says that we will soar on wings like eagles. And I don't know if you've ever seen an eagle up high. I haven't very often. I probably should, you know, go Google that and just see what that's like. But I, but the few times that I have watched an eagle, they are so peaceful and authoritative and commanding with the way that they fly. And that's what God wants to assure us that we will soar on wings like eagles we will run and not grow weary we will walk and not faint and verse 31 again says but those who hope in the lord because this is rise and hope right this is our challenge that every day it's god's day and yesterday christ in me the hope of glory and today those who hope in the lord i am hoping in the lord today I don't know what today brings, but I know the one that holds everything in his hand. And my hope is in him. So I thank you that, God, you are on the throne. I just want to pray for us. I don't want to make this long. I know people might be getting ready for whatever you're doing. But I just want to pray for our hope today. God, based on this scripture, we recognize that you are God and you are everlasting. We recognize that you are the creator as it says here in verse 28, creator of the ends of the earth. We recognize that you, 
never tire or weary. You are always on our watch, and for that we are so thankful. We understand that your understanding no one can fathom. Not one person can figure you out because your ways are higher. And God, you are sovereign and your character is almighty. So we understand who we are in relation to who you are. And we thank you that verse 29 says, he gives strength to the weary. And God, whoever's weary starting out this week, starting out this Monday morning, I pray right now that your strength would overtake them and they would rely on you and lean into you and let you carry them. And I thank you, God, that you say you will increase the power of the weak. You know, the word weak encompasses a lot of things, and it does not mean by any chance that you, by any stretch of the imagination, that you are um, not able to, or, <clears throat> you know, what are, what are some other things that you can fill in that blank? Being weak just means you're dependent on God sometimes, and that is the position of victory. That is a game changer. And in here, in verse 29, in Isaiah chapter 40, it says, God gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. So if you are weak this morning, friends, rest assured, your God is going to increase the power. His power, His Holy Spirit inside of you will take care of it. And I'll finish with 30 and 31. The youths grow tired and weary. The young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Thank you for your strength today, God. Thank you for everything that you want to accomplish. Thank you for great wisdom being poured out on all those people that are needing to make decisions today. God, I pray for strength to the ones that are reopening coming out of this place in a very unknown, unfamiliar place, that God, as we look to you and as we lean on you and ask you for your wisdom, how do we do this? And as we go in confident that you won't let us down, that we will have victory in these places of stepping out when we've been locked in. I pray, God, for the frontline workers that are still working, still, there are many people still sick, God. <clears throat> All I can do is pray that you will increase their strength and that you will increase the power of the weak ones that are in the hospital still recovering, the ones that are still home recovering. I mean, there's so much to pray for and prayer is a powerful weapon, friends. So I bless your day in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless your day with the creator of the universe, the God who brings strength the God who brings wisdom, the God who will lead you and guide you if you let him. Have a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow.